Some people are under the impression that as of lately, I've went full-blown radical feminist because sometimes I've been preaching some of their talking points. Let me be clear, I'm not a feminist, but I do believe that feminism has some valid points once in a while. I still think we have a lot of patriarchal attitudes within our society. I think we need to give up this attitude that, oh, we must protect women. This whole notion that women are less capable of taking care of themselves than men. I think we need to treat promiscuous women the same as we treat promiscuous men. And sure, people's value goes down, value, goes down if they get a bunch of STDs. But this goes for anyone. We shouldn't be singling out women as being worse than men for being promiscuous. Now, am I saying that being promiscuous is some great grand thing? No. But I do think that the freedom to be able to be promiscuous is a good thing. That freedom is a good thing. Now, granted, if, if women aren't using birth control and they instead get a whole bunch of abortions, then yeah, that should be looked down on. Abortions are nothing to be proud of. They shouldn't be used as a replacement for birth control. I mean, if you're wanting a lot of sex and you don't want to use birth control, then maybe consider getting your tubes tied. Okay, I don't believe in demonizing men for simply being human. I don't have a problem with people sexually objectifying others, provided we're talking about adults here. Someone shouldn't have to give permission for others to think of them in a sexual manner. You don't get to be the thought police. Unless someone is treating you poorly, what others think of you is actually none of your business. The whole, I don't want to be looked at that way, is an unreasonable demand. Especially if you're in public and you're dressed in a scantily clad way or you're dressed in a way that shows off the curves of your body. Yeah, if you dress that way, people are going to look at you. Don't act surprised or offended. Having said that, if someone actually harasses you, then yeah, that's obviously a problem. And if someone actually touches you, then yeah, that's obviously an even bigger problem. Remember the viral video entitled, 10 Hours of Walking in New York City as a Woman? Yeah, I still feel about that today the same way I did back then. Apparently, according to the video and people who promote that kind of ideology, people simply saying, Hi, how are you doing today? is considered harassment. I don't buy into that. It doesn't matter how many people are being nice to you, that's not harassment. If you have to deal with people going out of their way to talk to you on a regular basis, that's nothing to complain about. Sorry. In fact, that's a very privileged position. The only examples in that video that I thought were awful were the guys who would follow her for blocks, and then the guys who would get offended because she didn't give them attention. But quite frankly, I still don't even have a problem with catcalling. If you don't consider it complimentary, that's on you. Now, having said that, it's understandable that it would be an uncomfortable situation if that was happening and there's barely anyone around. You know, that could easily escalate into something else. I get it, okay? I get it. Yeah, in that kind of scenario, it could obviously be considered a threat. But otherwise, in a regular public setting, where there's a lot of people around, I just don't really see the problem. Is it something I would do personally? Well, I mean, I've said woof to guys that I thought were attractive, guys that I thought were hot, and in that scenario, the danger is on me. I mean, the guy could be homophobic, and they could beat the crap out of me for it. But I've still done it. And usually the reaction I get out of it has been positive, if, they've, if there's been any sort of reaction at all to begin with. Having said that, women typically have smaller builds. Physical builds. And they'd be less likely to be able to defend themselves if any sort of physical altercation happened. So again, I get the worry, particularly if there aren't very many other people around. But again, if there's a lot of people around, I don't see the problem. I don't buy into the notion that the biggest threat to society are straight white cisgender males. I've grown very tired of seeing that sort of notion pushed in a lot of social justice circles. Sure, there's a lot of people who don't recognize their privilege, but this goes for anyone. Females have their own sets of privilege, and most of the time, they're not willing to give those privileges up. 
It seems that the only privileges that we're supposed to talk about are the ones from straight, white, cisgender males. I think it's kind of unreasonable. If we're going to talk about privileges, we should be able to talk about privileges that any group has. Anyway, I don't really know what more to say, so I'll just end the video. Thanks for watching.